The brothers are a grassroots gathering of young men ages 16 to 34 who have become restless for positive change in their lives and in their communities. They've gathered around a core of four mature young men who serve as models and mentors in their faith, character, and desire for transformation. The brothers seek to develop and transform the whole man through accountable relationships in personal spiritual renewal, maturing life skills, developing job skills, fostering entrepreneurship, and cultivating authentic service to the needy. The brothers put high value on keeping an open door for other brothers to join and on the reproducibility of brothers within other communities where every young man naturally gather. It's important to note that Brothers for Life in Christ was not a program imposed from outside the community, but was born from within the community as young men began to gather together to support and encourage one another. During the 2014 Meniscus-sponsored Brothers Camp, we continually heard from young men the desire to earn the respect of their communities. They had for so long been associated as gang members and tough guys to be avoided, the greatest minus in their community. The brothers wanted to become a plus within their community, an asset that made a positive change to be men who were respected, minus to plus. The brothers come from the network of informal townships that have grown up around the booming town of Nelsprite, Bombella, with a total population exceeding three million black South Africans. Many of the brothers have not completed secondary school. Many have been in trouble with the law and many struggle with drug use. Some have children and some have been involved in gangs. All the brothers deal daily with a broken and dysfunctional culture. Young men in the Mpumalanga townships of South Africa live in an environment of extreme hopelessness with an unemployment rate of 35.6% for men and 55.2% for youth, 15 to 34 years, the second highest rate among South Africa's nine provinces. Most young men are unemployed and engage in the lifestyle of drugs, violence, and high-risk sexual relationships. HIV, AIDS, and violent deaths are frequent. The targeted communities have a growing 37.7% HIV prevalence rate, representing the second highest rate in the country. As few as half have completed their ninth grade level education. With prevalent illiteracy, and no practical job skills, these young men have little hope or model of planning for a long, healthy life. The district's poverty rate is 49.1%, the highest in the province, and 9.2% higher than the nation's average of 39.9%. Government public support payments constitute 23.8% of the area's total income. Beginning in 2008, Scott and Becky Lichen and Meniscus Incorporated were asked to begin helping African partners in discipling young adult leaders in the Mpumalanga area. The partnership and relationships grew until in conjunction with local partners and tribal leadership, Meniscus helped build the Litsemba, Hope, Community Center in the township of Danchi in Mpumalanga province in 2009. Five Siswati young men helped build the community center Meniscus leadership discipled these young men in their Christian faith while working on the project throughout the year. Since the completion of the community center, these young men have continued to meet together for accountability, support, and discipleship. The Litsemba Center has grown to be an important meeting place, skills development center, and biblical equipping center within the township. Three of the originally discipled young men are now key leaders at the center, and the Brothers for Life in Christ has organically grown around these three young leaders. Around them has gathered a group of 50 plus young men, aging from mid-teens to early 30s. They want to be good men, providers, fathers, and husbands, but have no models for behavior within their own environment. It's two things. I'll be in jail or uh, I must be dead by now. It's not uh, easy like to take it out or like to change same time. It's taking some steps to change and then to know the Lord. It's uh, for me to know the Lord. I didn't know the Lord, but when I'm looking back, I can see what he was the one who was protecting me. 
who was protecting me wherever I was doing, like what, whatever I was doing. When I'm looking back, because I know him now, I wasn't aware that he's alive, he's the protector. Meniscus Incorporator's engagement and focus is to build upon the existing peer-to-peer -peer social network and community center role in these young men's lives and deepen the level of skills training offered. The brothers are currently committed to gathering twice weekly. Once a month, they gather for breakfast together and for training in the easily reproduced Discovery Bible study process and in life skills. A group of six to eight brothers gather twice weekly at the Litsemba Center for job skills training in carpentry. With the completion of the course, the brothers earn their shop tools thereby giving them the capacity to work. What I would like to do or what I would like people to remember me with is to be a true community man, not only for me, but doing things for others, uh, opening opportunities for others as well. Because I believe this life is on, it's not only about me, because I had people that uh, gave their life for me. So I want to be that person as well. It doesn't matter if I'm rich or poor, but as long as the mindsets of people and the soul of the people are healed, it's better because in that way we won't have crime, in that way we won't have uh, all of those uh, negative things, but we'll have uh, positive dreamers and positive people, you know. So I would like people, even if when I get to 50, people to know that uh, this is what space started and then people to carry on uh, into that legacy, you know because it won't be for me, but it's for the whole community of Pina. The brothers initiated a desire to serve the needy in their own community. And in July 2014, they found a widow with three children in desperate need. The family was squatting on tribal land, living in a makeshift shanty made of wood scraps, no windows, no doors, and only half a tin roof. The brothers have obtained tribal occupancy permission and are now constructing a permanent concrete block home for the family. The brothers are volunteering all of the labor to build. Meniscus Incorporated is providing the building materials and African partner Hands of Grace is providing supervision as well as training the brothers in all the construction skills. Their plans for the immediate future are to provide increasingly effective brothers leadership retreats, restorative life camps to the many brothers who've experienced trauma, systemic, and appropriate life skill training, job skills, development and entrepreneurship, micro enterprise opportunities. Above all, they'll pursue authentic, durable, transformational friendships with the brothers and will foster that they develop the same with the living God, Jesus Christ. We believe Africa is a key continent in the world's development of the coming decade, that South Africa will continue to be the key country in Africa's development that Mpumalanga is a key province in South Africa, located along the borders with Swaziland and Mozambique, that young people are the key to the future and culture of Africa, that young men are the key to the transformation of communities, cultures, countries, continents, and the world, that Brothers for Life in Christ is a vital, reproducible, transformational equipping agent in the lives of young men. And so here we are. Gets involved in mentoring, entrepreneurship training, life skills development, discipleship, and prayer. Contact us at meniscushome at gmail.com or call our USA office at 828 260 9313. See meniscusinc.com for more links and resources.